Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about something that most, if not all of us are currently going through and that is the friction of separation. And this comes to me because in my own life and also in the lives of people that I'm close with, there is in some way a relationship that at one point was very, very important to you that all of a sudden is changing and it's evolving and it's causing this friction. And the download that I got came through when I was talking to my cousin about her friction separation with her parents. And the way it was shown to me is that when you are ascending or evolving as a soul incarnation on this planet, you no longer have to go through things unconsciously, meaning that a lot of the time, like let's say you have, you're doing the work in your sleep state. So you wake up and you're not aware of the work that you've been doing. But the higher that your vessel ascends and your soul becomes more embodied, that kind of collapses to the point where now you become conscious of things that are happening in your daily life and with the relationships that you have. And it is uncomfortable because now you see them for what they are and you want to fix them because that's the work of of a someone that is on this path you want to dig into it you want to fix it you want to help the other you want to you know educate whatever but what came through is that when we are able to see what's happening right we're able to see why the connection and the meshing of the relationship doesn't work anymore just because we can see it they can't. So we're operating in a full disclosure space, right? We can see exactly where where it separates. We can see exactly why it's separating. But the other party is still operating in the unconscious. They just know they don't it doesn't feel right anymore. They don't even they don't even question what doesn't feel right. I would say that they just stop being around you or they start picking um fights with you or picking topics that will agitate you but they in their own skin are just being themselves they're not doing it consciously to provoke or to pick or to agitate they are just operating unconsciously so what that means to me is that they are working they're allowing their soul to work through them in an unconscious way or what the energies of the planet or whatever uh, third dimensional media <laughs> that they're listening to or indoctrinating in. <laughs> um, but they are just moving that energy through unconsciously. So like if you asked one of them, why are you just regurgitating what you heard on the news last night? They wouldn't get that because they they take all of their information unconsciously so it's just working through them they don't think like i guess they they aren't using the discernment to understand like okay this is someone's opinion and then what how do i take that into my life and my moralities and my experience of the world it's just literally regurgitating what they have heard and that goes from the same point of view of their soul. So they're not questioning why they don't feel, for example, a desire to maintain a relationship with a child. And the, the friction comes from when you have two entities, one that can see what's happening and one that is just blindly acting out the, the programs that are being fed to it. Um, the conscious one wants to fix it, right? The conscious one is saying, but, but they weren't always this way, but they used to do believe this and they used to be like this. And we used to have this close relationship. 
And what's happening here is that there's a, I, I call it the ships passing in the night because that's what it feels like. It can be that. It can be as frictionless as the ships passing in the night. But right when you're like right on top of each other and you 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 feel the vibration of them, you, you're like, I feel your waves. You feel my waves. Like, let's work on this. At this point in our evolution, what I'm getting is that that time has passed. And... I know that this is going to be very um, hurtful for some to hear and also it's uncomfortable to even talk about but it's gotten to this um, point of where the ascension has like stepped over the the hurdle of being able to still con like condition or you know change the minds of the ones that are just acting unconsciously. So what's happening now is that we're literally, the two ships are like right on top of each other, right next to each other. And can you move through that passing with as little friction as possible? Or are you going to be like putting out bombs or, or, you know, like those old cannons or like trying to poke that person like, hello, wake up, wake up. I, I want an explanation as to why you're acting this way. I want to know why you're treating me this way. I want to understand where you're coming from. I want you to say this. I want you to see me like this. I want you to feel what I'm feeling. Those are like the, the cannonballs that you're, you can pass through on your ship to the other one. But what I'm getting is that that time has passed. So if you're sitting there and you're waiting for that family member or that friend or whoever it is that you're feeling this with to react to you, to see you, like see you, it's not going to happen. We have gone through, and I think it happened it's been happening, but I think the final uh, push happened about two weeks ago. And what is being now shared is that we have to see it. No more hiding behind, but they used to be like this, or but they mean well, and I still want this relationship in my life, or I'm gonna, they're gonna see one day how happy I am, and then they're gonna see like, I don't, I'm, I'm good without them. And then they're going to want to see what's going on in my life. And, you know, we tell our stories, our, ourselves these stories and it's past. So the way that looks to me is that we, as the conscious programs people, <laughs> because we're all programmed by something, right? But if you are conscious of this even happening and you actually care, okay, you are the one that needs to take the perspective of having that compassion for the other. Because if you're operating in the daylight, and I'm not going to say light because that infers that one is better than the other and that isn't the case but if you are operating in the daylight and you consciously can see the separating as it's happening can you have compassion for those people that are operating at nighttime meaning they are just conscious unconsciously putting through the information and the separation pulling this way while you're pulling this way can you allow them to be exactly where they are instead of, but I want her to explain why she doesn't want to be around my kids. I want to understand why she doesn't want to be a grandmother anymore. And I want to understand why she doesn't want to be involved with them. That is you still being attached to <laughs> the fourth dimension, really, because the fourth is where that, friction lives like it's attaching to that place where there still was compromise that could happen or there still was this space of but if they understand that I'm a better person in this light new life of mine or with all of this new information and let's say it's your your spirituality or your self-development 
if they could just see and understand you, then of course they would want that for you. Of course they would want to be a part of your life because it's it's a much happier you. But if you're operating in the dark, you don't feel that. So what I understand it as they are operating more on a vibrational level, which is a slower vibration. It's a slower up and down. It's a slower movement, which is, and if you're like this and your jump, your vibration's jumping, they are only catching glimpses of that jump, right? They don't get it. They are not able to see what's actually happening in your life. And therefore, if you go and say, I want to understand why you're not you don't know, you don't see the importance of you spending time with your grandkids for example or accepting that your granddaughter came out as gay if you don't see her i want to understand why you don't see her and her truth it's like uh again night and day the the response that you would get is i don't know what you're talking about because they don't that is the truth like if a being is here and they have decided to stay in third dimension, if you've noticed, they're not really speaking from their own beings anymore. They are regurgitating information from collective, from media, from the masses, right? Like a lot of people are in that extreme situation because there needs to be a separation there needs to be that passing and if they if they were still the same parents that you grew up with how could the separation happen right like i i always tell this to my cousin for how much your parents have changed look at how much i've changed it's exactly the same thing there cannot be that middle space anymore because what's happening is we're trying to pass those ships. We're trying to move that energy, separate that energy with as little friction as possible. However, when we as beings want explanations and want to draw it out and want to like, um, like shame them in a way or make them feel a certain like you're not as good as me can't you see that i'm a much in a much more evolved situation now or i'm doing good and i'm happy <sighs> they don't see that they don't see that at all and even though it's heartbreaking because these are people that we obviously love and care about I think in the spiritual realm, I would say, can you love them enough to accept where they are? And then also love yourself enough to accept that it doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't, those ships are passing for a reason. I brought up a, a story a few months ago about how when I, um, my mom was really adamant that I invite her sister, which is my aunt that I'm talking about, uh, to our wedding. And I, I brought it up one night and, and it turned into this like angry, like they were, they weren't even, they were talking about something else and they got really angry. And then by the time we were leaving, I brought it up directly. And I said, I just, I, if you guys want to come, I want you to be there. And my aunt says, well, if it's in the summer, we aren't going to be able to make it. And it, it's not in the summer, right? Like it's in October, but all I needed to hear was her intention. And the intention was the aunt that I knew growing up would have moved mountains to be there. It would have been a yes, no matter when it is. The aunt that I have now is not that. And I could hear it in, in the tone, in the frequency, in the vibration. And I, I said, I totally understand. I'm, 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 there's no, like, I didn't feel angry about it. I just felt like I accept what is and I let the ship pass. Now, I understand that in the relationships that we have that are like, uh, our, let's say our parents or our siblings, it's a lot harder because there is a lot of a, um, more thread connection between you two. But what we're being asked to do right now is to let go and allow them to be where they are. Um, I I'm not bringing up my own story because I am trying to be as um, compassionate to my my family that I, is separating from me. 
but I also feel definitely a loss around it. And I also know that it's not going to change. And, you know, it's having also the compassion for yourself to grieve it and to let that be what it is. Because at this point, they can't see what you see and they aren't going to. So what I, why I'm kind of really feeling the push to talk about this right now is that um, about two weeks ago when we had those solar flares, it, it definitely felt like there was a change in the vibration on the planet, which really made things much clearer and more distinct. And I f am feeling, <laughs> and I know most people say this, but there's a quickening happening. And to get through this quickening or this next evolution, the less stress that you put on your emotions and your wanting to change what is, it's going to make your transition much easier. Now, I'm not saying don't grieve it and I'm not saying don't feel it, but I am saying try to take a higher perspective for what it is without the, but they should, they should know better. They should do better. Don't they love me? I don't understand. You know, it's my parent or whatever it is. We're being asked to let go of it. And, um, you know, it's a hard thing. And I, I, I sometimes feel like in this whole leap of faith, that is probably one of the hardest things. When you change and when you start operating from a conscious level, you can see what isn't doing that. It's much clearer for you to see what is original content or what is original and original thought versus regurgitated information. And that's where the divide lies, right? Like when you pull out, pull yourself out of that, um, I called it stuck in the matrix, right? I'm still in the matrix, but I'm not stuck anymore because I'm not feeding into what society wants me to be anymore. And when you pull yourself out of that space where you're just going, getting by, you know, you're just doing the, the daily stuff to make, to move it along. And you don't feel like you have your own conscious connection with your higher self, with your being, with knowing that there's something bigger out there, then you're not going to, there, there's, there is no, there's no threads together anymore. It is like a ship's passing in the night and it's allowing it to be that. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves because at this time, I think that's what the most important and most like, um, how would I say it? The, the best time spent would be on making sure you're okay, making sure that you give that extra energy and love and support to yourself versus worrying about where other people are. When we cross over from this incarnation and we look back, I know that that love that you felt with that family member that was there is still there. You know, I'm going to cry because it's it's terrible, but it's still there. And, and if you can love them for where they are and not have an expectation for them to meet you where you are, that's real love. That is what why we came here with different age souls, you know? <laughs> that's the whole point is that if we came here and we were all the same and we we're all evolving at the same time, what's the, what where's the work, <laughs> you know? Where is the evolution of of the work that we came to do and vice versa? Can we just be present and feel the feels and be um, compassionate with everybody and not think that you're better because you're not. It's literally, and I, the way I always see it is that you're just the, the senior class and they're just the freshman. And is one better? No. I mean, no. That person that's a freshman can totally overtake you in soul evolution at some point. So no one is better. It's just allowing people to be where they are. 
Um, I hope it's helpful, you guys, because I think that it's getting more intense. And I, I think this, to me, feels like the biggest break of the realities. And it's been, like, stretching. Like, it's been, for me, um, I would say the last, intensely, the last, like, six months. But it feels like we're not going to have much more time with this. So... I hope that you guys are well and know that I feel it deeply too. And I'm not saying this from a perspective that I don't care. I mean, I care the most, you know, I care um, very intensely. And I mean, can I care enough to allow what is? And I hope that you guys can contemplate that. And instead of when the ego wants explanations and the ego wants to call that person out or the ego wants to, um, you know, have them say it to the grandkid or whatever it is, that's just your ego. It's your ego wanting to fight, fight it out to the death and you won't get the satisfaction that you're looking for. The, the calmer that we can be, at least like there's always going to be some friction because as two ships pass, there is still that wave vibration, right? You feel it, of course. But do you want to create waves as you pass or do you want to just allow? And I think that we can move through this process with um, as little, I don't know, I don't think damage is the right word, but as little pain to the body, and I'm talking like the physical body, as possible, it feels like that our our energy is going to be needed elsewhere. So purge it, allow it to be what it is, let the ships pass, and then let's see. Like just instead of having an expectation on these relationships... Just leave it open to what it will become. I don't know what it will become. You don't know what it will become. But when we have an expectation on another person, that's where we get let down and we feel like we're justified in needing something back or a reason for it. And, you know, we aren't going to get it. So <laughs> I hope that you guys are well. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you and thinking about you and... Um, and want you to know that I believe we're starting new soul families for this reason, you know. And even those sometimes have frictions. But <laughs> I think that we can at least see each other in those new soul families. And you still have stuff to work out. And you still have these, like, growing pains to do. But I know that there's something bigger. You know, there's something different. Not not better. Just different. And more aligned with where we're going. So I hope you guys are well. And I will see you next week. <laughs>